using sentiment text analysis of user reviews in social media for eTourism mobile recommender systems. The structure and dynamics of tourist preferences can be tracked and analyzed. Uh, information about the image and reputation of the tourist product can be received, as well as the behavior of tourists themselves can while traveling can be analyzed using their feedback in social media. The feedback received from the tourist is not only useful for businesses, but also can be used by recommender applications as one of the sources for estimation of the alternative item. Two popular e-advice websites, uh, Booking.com and TripAdvisor, host users' options for decades but they are very much moderated and also not every user leaves the feedback uh, of a consumed product on these platforms but every user has a profile in some social media networks and via his gadget he uh, expresses his life experience in social media Diversified eTourism recommender systems are intensively developing and are very popular among the users. But the problem of getting better, faster and more personalized recommendations is still on the table. One of the resources for improvements of using tourist user reviews and comments in social media as another kind of recommendation tool. The basis of successful operation for mobile e-tourism recommender systems as a complete, well-timed and correct data processing complexes, uh, there are certain problems in dealing with input and output data and they should be taken into account while designing a recommender systems, especially the mobile ones. There are three main sources of input data for a mobile recommender system. The user as an information source, he generates queries, leaves feedback, disseminates messages about himself in social networks. All smart tourism technologies nowadays act uh, in a paradigm where a tourist is a sensor itself and a tourist is an expert. The gadget of the tourist uh, leaves information about external background of a tourist, contextual data, appearance or disappearance from the operational space of various obstacles. And the Internet of Things. Uh, this includes data from referential resources, both tourist and external work schedules, lists of tourist places and establishments, including, including web search data, user net surfing history, and online booking data and more. All these categories of data can be classified as a big data. What can tourists give to a recommender system via his gadget? First of all, the modern information technologies and social media networks have led to the appearance of new ways and approaches for information circulation in a digital space. Hashtags, emojis, geopositioning, online access to photo and video content, live media resources, complement textual content uh, distributed by tourists. User uploaded text, photos and video content contain a wealth of useful information and, help the, uh, and they can help the recommender application to analyze a personal behavior, travel experience and preferences of the tourist. The data about geographical location and therefore uh, creation of effective tools of exploring and analyzing user-generated content distributed on social networks, in particular the isolated of tourist content from general, improves the functionality of a tourism recommender systems. The, mass, the structure of the message that the user leaves via his gadget uh, has changed from the classical message provided on the platforms such as TripAdvisor or Booking.com. First of all, the message became shorter. 
There are limits in some social networks like Twitter on the uh, number of symbols can be used in the message. And there's also a rule, unspoken rule, uh, what doesn't fit on one screen of a smartphone will not be read. Second, the space of posting reviews has also changed. Traditionally, the users left posts on specialized sites, travel forums, travel agency blogs, and more. To do this, the user had to have an account uh, to get logged um, or left an anonymous comments. But since the last decade, a tourist with a gadget leaves his comments anywhere, anytime, uh, in his social media space. The structure of the comment has also changed. It's not only the plain text now, uh, but the text is supplemented with, uh, or even partially replaced, uh, by graphic, audio and video content. Emojis, animated elements, stickers, uh, convey the emotional tinge of the user feedback. Video stories and live streaming may contain text captions and subtitles to increase uh, the content of the response. Number four, the user may not plan to prepare and respond the text message uh, in advance. His story might be devoted to a completely different topic and his own impression of the consumed tourist product will slip through, uh, among other things. Such reviews are the hardest to follow, but they can create a reputation of a tourist product too. Number five, using a hashtag for text and geo positioning for images and videos allows to quickly identify, uh, to to quickly identify the certain tourism product. Uh, it can replace searching uh, via keywords. Number six, option of personalized feedback for the author of the review uh, gives wider opportunities to tourism businesses to respond on a, a certain review. Uh, from the official owners of the profile of the tourist product can be added a response to a tourist uh, to his gratitude or negative feedback, to make an apology in case of complaints. In this way, thanks to social media space, the product seller is able to reach to the customer's information territory and attract his attention. Uh, it is also possible to supplement user's profile for the recommendation application with the new review's facts. Number seven, the language used by the tourist to create a message has also changed. In the forums and official pages of the tourist objective, classical space for creating reviews, as a rule, uh, one language is used, or in case of regional information resources, two, English and the language of the region. Social media enables the user to express his thoughts in the language suited for him best. That is likely that the tourism product provided by one country will be reviewed in five, ten, or more different languages. This complicates text analysis also. Uh, therefore, travel products reviews need to be collected not only on specialized resources, but also increasingly in the social media space. Analyzing the sentimental content of such reviews is complicated first by multilingualism and second by the presence of graphic elements, stickers, emojis, hashtags. Also, the rules of plain language are different from the rules, uh, punctuation rules used uh, in social media messages. Finding and retrieving useful information from the user reviews of a tourist product in the social media space poses a number of challenges to developers of recommender applications. In particular, first of all, how to properly treat sentimental tint of the emoji in reviews. Is negative content related to the mood of a user or the weather or the day in general or the quality of tourist product this day? 
Is it possible to use for comparison as a description of previous bad experiences with another product? Should emoji be considered equivalent to keywords in reviews, etc.? Second, how situational and implicit, where there are no hashtags and location reviews, can be tracked and consolidated in social media? Third, how to effectively extract text content from photos, videos, and audio messages. Number four, should the publication of tourist photo or video related to the tourist product, but without supplementing some text on it or with it, uh, be considered also as a feedback and classified as how, positive, negative, or neutral? These and other problems need to be solved to create efficient sentiment analysis technologies for a tourism mobile recommender systems. As an attempt to solve this task, first of all, we created the ontology model of touristic user reviews structure in social media. Uh, in the first stage, we divided the components of a, a message in social media. They include text, keywords, hashtags, emojis, stickers, and punctuation marks. Uh, at the first stage, we uh, divided the keywords in classes uh, as positive, negative, very positive, neutral, and very negative. We used three languages, Ukrainian, Romanian, and English. Uh, for this model, uh, because these three languages are most used in Bukovinian touristic region uh, to provide touristic services. Uh, we also used, used hashtags and classified them. Uh, as the Protege software doesn't allow to uh, use the hashtag mark and also doesn't allow to include emojis uh, to, the, uh, to the model, we uh, changed them, represented them with the variables uh, uh, of some system. Uh, also, we used punctuation marks and created rules how the punctuation marks of plain language translate in social media messages. Uh, for example, uh, we use question mark to put a question. But uh, in social media messages, sometimes people use more than one uh, question mark to express their high anger with the question or their unsatisfied mood. Uh, the same story is with an exclamation mark. Uh, people in social media messages use several punctua uh, exclamation marks uh, to brighten and higher up the, uh, the mood of the message. Uh, so we created rules to uh, combine punctuation marks with emojis, few punctuation marks, for example, question mark and exclamation mark. Uh, as a very common it can be uh, it can change uh, the meaning of the message from neutral to negative or from uh, neutral to positive uh, according to the classes the tables we built an hierarchy model uh, using the protege software uh, developed uh, on the basis of this ontology model, sentiment analysis model, will be in future a part of sentiment social media feedback analysis technology for a tourism recommender system. Accordingly, uh, the analysis of sentimental feeling of tourist feedback on tourist products is not only a source of data for a tourism recommender system, but also transforms from the classic text mining task to uh, the task of big data analysis, because the modern uh, message uh, contains not text only. There are researches and discussions on the mechanisms behind reviewing tourist behavior and its connection with the data 
on the reputation sites, hotels, attractions, destinations, uh, online, and how it affects tourist behavior and purchasing decisions. Social media feedback data bring new context and new challenges to this topic, but also they bring new perspectives and resources uh, to make the information technologies in tourism better. In this study, uh, we tried to describe modern tendencies for the design and development of eternal recommender systems with sentiment analysis components, uh, especially uh, user-generated content in social media. Main goal was to systematize and summarize knowledge about possibilities of using tourists' user reviews in social media as a type of e-tourism big data for mobile e-tourism recommender systems. In particular, to analyze the sources and types of tourist feedback data, messages, comments generated by the tourist with, via his gadget can be related to e-tourism big data. Developing efficient tools for e-tourism user comments and feedback in social media, combining with big data technologies, NLP and smartphone services advantages, can provide e-tourism recommender systems with new, better ways of creating more personalized recommendations. Thank you.